Hello folks, welcome to my new video. Today with Cyborg uh, by Albert Pune with one of this, uh, well, most famous uh, movies, uh, this classic uh, 80s yeah, B-movies uh, with Jean-Claude Van Damme. Um, and uh, it's, yeah, and uh, I have the, uh, two versions of it, Cyborg and uh, Slinger, the Pune cut, director's cut. If you like what I'm doing, please subscribe to my channel. It would help a lot. And activate the notification to not miss any content. So, uh, this uh, is actually a German edition, exclusive German edition, uh, made by uh, Koch Films. Um, yeah, the label that is formal, was formerly known as Koch Films, now uh, it is called Play On Pictures. And they have a lot of really terrific uh, collector's editions. Uh, that are uh, that are well, Play on Pictures German exclusive. Um, yeah, Play on Pictures is uh, at least Koch Koch Films is also makes also some editions in Italy. I don't know if uh, they uh, they are present in any other countries. But they, are, for example, Midnight Classics or Midnight Factory in Italy comes also from them, and yeah. And uh, in the last uh, couple of years, they made some really great, uh, great um, collector's boxes with this incredible artwork. Yeah, Slinger, uh, I suppose, it ca uh, as far as I know, it can't be bought separately. It, it is, yeah, it's provided as a, well, quote-unquote gift uh, if you buy uh, the Cyborg uh, box. Uh, and you also get this this necklace. Uh, yeah, both things. Uh, this um, necklace that uh, uh, that Jean Claude Van Damme's character uh, wore in the in the movie. Uh, both things you get them separately, and with the option to to put them in the in the box. Unfortunately, uh, the Slinger uh, Blu-ray is too big. It's it's a little bit too big, so if I put it in the box, I won't be able... I would manage to put it in, but I won't be able to put it out again. So I decided to not do it, unfortunately, uh, because it takes place. So this artwork is just, just amazing with this partial gloss, and uh, it's just amazing. It's exclusive artwork. Yeah, Cyborg here. There were two other parts. They were unfortunately not released. I will show it um, uh, a little bit later. Yeah, but the two other parts are considered much, much worse. So, uh, than the first one, which is already a B-movie, so it's not um, <laughs> no, nowhere near a masterpiece. But it's a really enjoyable movie. Uh, yeah, here is uh, a J-card with all the information in German. Uh, about the movie, and here is this beautiful DigiPack. So this is the box. So uh, DigiPack and two booklets, and here is this well small box with this amazing uh, drawn artwork with these incredible colors. So now where should I begin? I begin with the. Uh, digipacks, so at first the cyborg digipack. With this absolutely amazing artwork. Yeah, and here's a three disc edition. Every disc, each disc has its, its own original artwork that is unique to this disc. Simply, simply amazing. So you get uh, uh, two Blu-rays, uh, not different cuts of the movie, but different remasterings. A remastering from uh, to, uh, to 2012 12, and a remastering from 2017. And a DVD. And here's this uh, background artwork. This blue and red. Now to the Slinger, well, it's actually part of this collection. I mean, if you get this with 
You can buy it separately and if you get it with the edition, yeah, outside the box. So it's fine that it's called a gift. Well, well, if you pay for it, then it's, then we, we, we make you this gift. Yeah. And here's this digipack with Slinger, pewed card, pewn card. That um, has most definitely not the best quality. Ah, the, the 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 movie itself, ah, the artwork is just amazing. Again, yeah. Uh, it's a somewhat different movie. Some scenes uh, have uh, really bad VHS quality. So it's as far as I know, it's uh, it's the best uh, version that you can get of this movie. Yeah, you have uh, here uh, two discs, Blu-ray and DVD. And here is this backside artwork with a villain. So at first, uh, yeah, now to the to the goodies at first, this amazing St. Christopher Protectors necklace. It's just amazing replica. And huh, without any studio information. Ah, oh, that's just amazing. So rare. Normally it has some copyright uh, stuff that really destroys the 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 replica. And it's yeah, it it's really it's it's really metal and it's it 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 it's a little bit heavy and you really it's it's looks so real so great yeah a really really great gimmick so now to the two uh booklets uh two well medium sized booklets um yeah booklet and a comic with this really nice artwork and unfortunately no poster or no card set they made so many Beautiful drawn artwork, so a card set would be really great. But well, yeah, yeah. The booklet is in German. Um, as I said in my other videos, you actually can read it if you can, even if you can't speak German. Google Translator makes it possible. It's not very convenient. Google Translator has a photo function function, and you could uh, translate it uh, on the fly. But well. Not the many, not the most convenient solution, but at least possible. Yeah, the um, as 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 uh, the reason why there are two vastly different cuts of the movie. Yeah, the studio <coughs> uh, removed Albert Pune, the director, from the production and uh, cut the movie itself and. In in uh, mostly in this in those cases the movies the director's cut is better but in this case well it's different but it's not not really better there are some questionable decisions and yeah by Albert Pune so the yeah some you can somewhat understand the studio here's this um, reprint of the original cyber comic. And the great thing about this, it's in English. So it's really an original reprint. So they didn't went an extra mile to translate it in German. Yeah, even with uh, the good, the bad and the lovely, even with this, this uh, original information about the movie. Yeah, Albert Pune is, is, is a great director, is, is an interesting director. He made some very, very... Um, special interesting movies but he have uh, he has some some yeah he made also some questionable choices <laughs> for example i mean uh, in the in the original cut um it's all about a cure for for a pandemic uh in the new in the in pune's cut in slinger it's uh, about some technology And uh, 
really str- uh, the movie uh, the the new cut also has a really strange ending <laughs> with a um, preview for um a never really realized movie uh, cyborg nemesis and it's so yeah it's so cheaply made well with a yeah with a with a robotic nude woman it's it looks really really strange but well if you if you if you saw some of the nemesis uh, movies by albert, albert pune there was a similar situation where you have the first one that is really cult classic but the the there are five nemesis movies now but each one of them was worse and worse and yeah Good, got stranger and stranger. Unfortunately, Albert Pune passed away a couple of years ago. So we won't see um, any no- new movies by him. Which, yeah. Well, so here are both uh, DigiPacks compared. So, folks, that was it. If you like what I'm doing, please subscribe to my channel. Let me know in the comments below how you do like this movie and uh, how do you like this edition. Till the next time. Bye-bye.